Hey guys, this is Michael over here, your property guy, and today we're going to talk about something really interesting about this topic, and the topic is creating a 5,000 to 20,000 passive income through properties. So if you're ready for this right now, I'm going to show you not one way, but two ways of how you can do this right now. So here we go, my two ways of how you can go out there to do this. So the key about passive income, and when we talk about getting this 5,000 to 20,000 per month coming in, is really, really getting it through something called rental. You see, property has got two ways of doing it. One, you can buy and sell the property and make tons of big money, but one time. Or the second way you can do it right now is actually by renting out month by month. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a magic formula in case you guys wanna learn how to do this. So write this down if you're interested. So the goal is this. The goal is basically to find properties that can give you a rental return of anything from four to six to 8%. Now, the higher the percentage, obviously, the better the returns. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a quick example over here. Assuming that you have properties with values of about one million, easier for you to count, what you're gonna do right now is you're gonna get rental returns coming back, and of course, the higher the rentals, as you can see over here, will give you a higher rent. So say, for example, if you had a million dollar property right now, all right, in the market, and usually it's gonna be a house or a condo, it doesn't matter, if you can give you 4% rental returns, it basically gives you 3,337 ringgit per month, right? Now, if you get 6% coming in, that gives you 5,000 ringgit per month. And then you get you 8%, it gives you about 6,607 per month. So now, here's the thing. If you are here to get 5,000 to 20,000 coming in, I'm going to now show you two ways using this entire formula here, how you can use this and then start making your passive income today. Okay, if you're ready, let's take step number one. One of the simplest way of how you can do this right now is something called rent okay to rent so guys you don't really have to buy a property in order for you to make that money so i give you a quick example right now all you got to do is look for a property that can give you about three thousand in rental okay uh, all you got to do right now is find a property where the landlord is ready to rent, rent you at four percent so it gets let's say for example you take it for three thousand ringgit right now and what you do is this you either put it on airbnb or maybe you could get multiple rooms or maybe you could just add it up and touch it up a little bit more and get a very nice tenant to come in. But then what you do is you rent it at a higher price, right? So by doing that right now, you rent low and then you rent to someone at a higher price and that's where you easily make that extra $3,000 coming in. Do this two times, you make about $6,000 coming in. Okay, do this to six properties and you make $20,000 coming in. Easy, right? So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a formula for rent to rent so that can give you a little bit of a better idea how you can play this game better. Okay, ready? So this is a little bit of the formula right now as you can see. So I've broken this down. It doesn't look that complex. Let me just explain this to you right now. In a rent to rent formula, you can do two things in order for you to increase your rents. First is increase the space. Say for example, if you rented a unit over here at about 3,000 ringgit and it's a condominium, you could rent it out at an entire unit as one space. But if you want to kind of increase the rental, what you could do is this, you could rent out room by room. So what you want to do maybe is, if it has like four rooms over there right now, or three rooms over there right now, each of the rooms could go out for a rental of 1,200 ringgit to 1,500 ringgit. And therefore, you gradually increase the rentals you could get from each individual room, okay? The second thing you could do right now is this, you could add the rooms, right? Ask the permission, of course, from your landlords, but over here, you could add up a couple more rooms add two more rooms, add three more rooms, and you rent them out, and eventually, you would increase the price. Now, the second way you can increase your rental from a rent to rent perspective is this. You could go out there and basically increase the time. Now, most of the rentals, when you go for landlords, giving you at this kind of pricings are for an entire year lease. But who says that you're gonna find tenants that are gonna lease back to another tenant for another one year? You could easily go out there and give a monthly rental instead, right? Well, how do you do that? You could go for students, right? There are a lot of students coming in in transits. They go on a quarterly semester and they are willing to pay a little bit more higher prices in between. So if you manage it very well, you could actually ask for higher rents, right? Now, you could go for even daily right now. Now, what does a daily do, right? You could actually get room by room daily or unit by daily. But how do you do it? Airbnb, right? You could rent it out for daily rates and you know, like hotel rates and Airbnb. It's so easy to get online to do that nowadays. And those, you could get really excellent rates per day. Imagine right now if you could dress up the unit really nice and you rent it out for like 200 ringgit a day, right? If you get 20 days in a month, that's already about what, 4,000 over ringgit. 
right? If you get 30 days a month, you can easily get 6,000 over ringgit. So there you go. You could even do something like that. Of course, you can come to an hourly process over here as well, where you can do co-working spaces, or you could do a lot of other things over there. So there you go. If you want to, you can increase the time. You can increase the space. You could do either one of these two, and this is where you can add more value and get more rental coming in. There you go. So this is how easy it is for you to actually make that extra money coming in. But, okay, there is a but on this. And the but is this. What happens if the landlord wants the unit back, right? What happens if, can you do this for a long term, like five years, 10 years? Who knows? Because, you know, you're still subject to renting it out. So what I want to do right now is this. I'm going to show you my second way of how you can really keep this money coming in for the rest of your life and add extra money into your pocket as well. Are you ready? Okay, so let's go to step two right now. Okay, so the second way of doing it is a little bit more complicated. I'm going to show it to you right now, okay? The first way of doing it, rent to rent, basically means you attack the rentals coming in. Find the difference between the two areas and then you start to accumulate your passive income coming in. Okay, the second way of doing it is not attacking the rental itself, but attacking the asset. So yes, the second way of doing it is to buy the assets that will give you the high rentals and therefore you can become financially free. But then again, you don't want to take a loan, right? Because the loan is going to cost you a lot of money. So I'm going to show you a way how you can do this with cash. So if you're ready, pay attention to this right now. The second way of how you can create 5,000 to 20,000 coming in for the rest of your life even beyond after the time you pass away, you can even pass this on to your kids and so on and so forth. This, now, this is like the most concrete way of doing it. It's called flip, <laughs> okay, to rent. So the goal of doing this is basically to continue to do the first strategy first. Don't go after the rentals, build on the wealth. So what you're gonna do right now is you're gonna go and use this little formula. I know this looks really complicated, but let me explain this to you right now. First goal is this. Your goal is not to go after the passive income. Your goal is go after flipping it to make your millions first. Once you get your millions coming in from asset or from properties or anything else, use that money to buy off properties that's gonna give you great rental returns. So step number one, buy to flip to millions. Now we've covered that in many of the other videos, but let me give you a very quick breakdown of this right now. Assuming you start with a $300,000 property, you put a $30,000 deposit coming in. So you gotta save a little bit of money first to start this out, right? Now, you have to have patience, right? Maybe you take five years to get 30%. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna give you three years to make it a little bit faster right now, right? If you do it well enough, you could actually get it within three years to get your 30% coming out from it. So you're gonna start this out over here. Year zero, you're gonna put that 30,000 coming in over here. You're gonna get a $300,000 property. You're gonna sell it after five years, okay, or three years, okay, over here and make 150K. 150K profit plus the initial deposit you had in your hands, you now come back three years later with 180,000 ringgit. This can buy you a $1.8 million property. Now, you don't have to buy 1.8, you can buy like two properties at 900,000 each or three properties at 600,000 each. It doesn't matter. But accumulatively, it gives you 1.8 million worth of properties sell it okay three years later at a 30 percent profit and it gets you 540k cash 540k class plus this 180 coming in over here six years later you would have 720 ringgit okay 720,000 ringgit repeat this process again buy a 7.2 million worth of assets go out there exit this out now ladies and gentlemen if you can see over here in a short period of anything from six years to nine years Okay, well, if you take five years each, it'll be 15 years. Now, for a period of 10 to 15 years, you will be able to accumulate up 2.88 million because this money plus your original deposit that you put in to buy all the properties, that's how much money you have. That's almost about 3 million worth of, of that's almost 3 million worth of cash in hand. Take that money right now and what you do is then you buy assets, okay, not one, not two, you could buy up to three of this over here at 8% rental returns, 6,670 cash money come into your bank account every single month, three of this over here, and therefore you would make $20,000 coming in a month. My friends, it does sound like it's a lot of time to take anything from nine years to 15 years to do this, but if nine years or 15 years of discipline of doing this right now, you can create a passive income stream coming in that you can retire on safely for the rest of your life. 
So there you go guys, okay, this is my little bit of my secrets over here on how you can go out there and create a $5,000 to $20,000 passive income from property investments. Two ways, one is to rent it out and rent it out quickly. Second way is to flip to your millions, then find those assets with high rental returns and then get the passive income coming in for the rest of your life. So there you go guys, I hope you've liked what you've learned today over here. If you really like what you have seen, please like and don't forget to subscribe so I can share with you more strategies on how you can build your wealth through properties and other types of investments. And don't forget to share to some of your friends over here so they can learn the same thing as well. So to the next time around guys, keep on growing and keep on making money. See you guys.